Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. So, Mike, this is the second half of workout number three. So, we don't have any benches here just because it doesn't make space sense wise. But I want you to do this on an incline bench because it'll change the angle and help us uh, hit the top of your chest a little bit more and get a bigger stretch. So, start off normal. You're gonna come down to a count of two. And on the bench, you're gonna be able to go lower and get a stretch in your pecs. And I want you to hold that bottom one, two, and then pop up. So down, one, two, get a big stretch at the bottom. One, two, explode up. So remember, not on the floor, on a slight incline, like 30 degrees. And then the dumbbell hang clean. Uh, just as you get older and you spend more time with the computer, I like uh, the dumbbell hang clean better on your wrists than the barbell hang clean because the more time you spend doing that, the less easily that your wrists go back like that. And if you jack up your wrist, as a lawyer and accountant, it's pretty hard to do the rest of the job. So everything is the same, just the dumbbell allows the movement to conform to your body instead of your body conforming to the equipment. So we're just going from the hang, so just from the knee, and then drive whoop, up, and then catch. So, and just like with the bar, you know, it's next to the body, and then that catch at the top. It should feel very similar, but it's just instead of your body having to get out of the way of the bar, the weights move to accommodate you. And then, right away, Without any rest, we got the double overhead farmer's walk. Ooh, so get those arms straight. A mirror can help a whole lot. Just wanna make sure what feels straight actually is straight. So keep your knuckles up to the sky. None of this. Knuckles up, stay up. We're going for a long walk. We're going for 25 yards. Boom. And that takes care of everything. Ta-da! Ah.